16.38 divided by 15.6 let me translate divided by means this sign 15.6 okay now convert this decimal number into fraction so remove decimal and write the number you are getting we are getting this and for every digit after decimal you have to consider 10 as a multiplication 10 times 10 which is 100 then convert this decimal into fraction remove decimal and write the number you are getting we are getting 156 and for every digit after decimal you have to consider 10 now divide this fraction by this fraction so keep change and flip we have to follow this method keep change division sign to multiplication sign then flip 10 over 156 okay now cancel this zero this zero so we are getting this right now divide this this by 2 look if you divide this 16 by 2 you will get 8 then 1 then 9 if you divide this this number 10 by 2 you will get 5 okay now divide this number by 3 and this number by 3 if you do so what will you go 6 7 3 273 if you divide this number by 3 you will get 273 if you divide this number by 3 you will get 552 so basically we are getting 273 divided by 5 times 52 now we cannot reduce this so multiply 52 times 5 10 write 0 carry 1 to the next column 25 25 plus 1 26 so 273 divided by 260 now divide 273 by 260 260 goes into 273 let's say one time then subtract take away 0 from 33 take away 6 from 71 okay so 13 is our remainder so our answer is 1 remainder 13 if you want to convert this answer into decimal then convert this number into decimal bring down this first zero but before this zero there is a decimal decimal must come to the question 260 goes into 130 how many times since 130 is less than 260 so zero times zero times 260 zero subtract 130 bring down the next digit 13 right 260 goes into 1300 how many times look estimate let's say we have taken any have four so multiply this 260 times 4 so 4 times 0 0 4 times 6 24 right 4 carry 2 to the next column 4 times 2 8 10 so 1040 so write 1040 if you subtract then you are getting 0 mm -hmm. then 6 then 2 that is 260 this 260 is equal to 260 so this should be less than this divisor
it cannot be equal to divisor so we need to increase here take here 5 right so our estimation was not correct so put here 5 now multiply this 260 by 5 so 5 times 0 0 5 times 6 30 write 0 carry 3 to the next column 5 times 2 10 plus 3 13 that is this 1300 so 5 is our correct estimation so 5 times 260 or 1300 subtract 0 so we are getting 1.05 here is the second way divide this long division use long division method 15.6 look our divisor is a decimal number so we need to make it a whole number so move decimal one places from left to right so we are getting now 156 and you need to do the same thing in the dividend here so we are getting look 150 156 divided by 163.8 now divide 56 goes into 1 163 how many times one times one times 50 156 156 our working or current dividend up to three digit so subtract 6 6 okay 6 you cannot borrow 6 from 3 so you need to borrow from this here so 13 so 6 6 take away 6 from 13 so you will get 7 so now here we have instead of 6 we have 5 five zero then one one zero so seven okay now now to continue process bring down this digit but before this digit there is a decimal decimal must come to the quotient directly now we have 78 78 is less than 156 so 156 goes into 78 how many times zero times zero time 156 zero Subtract 78. You can add here 0. Bring down the first 0. So, so 780. Now, look. You If you place here 5, then 5 times 156. 5, 5 times 6, 30. Write 0. Carry 3 to the next column then 5 times 5 25 25 plus 3 28 write 8 carry 2 to the next column 5 times 1 5 plus 2 7 so we subtract we are getting 0 as our remainder is 0 so we are done so our answer is 1.05